Today I'm going to do a video on some of my favorite hair care products for natural hair. Um, and you know guys, this is my first video talking about um, natural hair. I went natural in 2012. So anything prior to 2012 was a perm, okay? <laughs> I was the perm queen. As a matter of fact, I overprocessed my hair for many, many years and as a result of overprocessing my hair, um, I, I endured a lot of hair breakage and things of that nature. And you know, one thing I always say in life, guys, is when you learn better, you should do better. And it's not to, that statement is not to knock anybody who still like to use perms, if that's what you like to do, um, you still wanna perm your hair, then by all means, girl, perm it. But, um, for me, what I noticed when I went natural, it freed me, guys. It, it freed me because it helped me to embrace uh, my natural hair. It helped me to embrace the way my hair grows out of my head. And praise God for that. Because, you know, I just feel like natural hair is a beautiful thing. You know, I, I really do. And I think um, we just have to learn to embrace it. Know your hair is not going to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I spend more <laughs> more money now that I'm since I've gone natural. I, I spend more money now on natural hair products than what I did when I had perm. So just understand that when you go natural, it's a process. And I'm assuming that anybody watching this video is either thinking about going natural or have been natural for some time, and you are looking for tips and ideas or different products that you can use for natural hair. I've, I've had so many people stop me in the store and ask me what kind of products do I use for my natural hair. And so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do a video on it. So that's what I did. Because I'm gonna tell you something, I have probably tried, and I'm I'm not being, I'm, I'm, I'm not lying y'all. <laughs> I have a cabinet full of, of products. I, I, I'm not lying. I have a cabinet full of products and I know I'm not sponsored. No, I don't. No one's calling me, asking me to view their products on my channel. No, no, no. As you guys know, I'm a YouTuber. Um, you won't see any affiliate links in my description box. I just got started. So just understand that everything that I'm telling you is stuff that I have used, I have tried, and I know it works. I think I'm probably around a 3C, but guys, don't quote me on that. I do know for sure that I have low porosity hair. So a lot of these products that I'm going to tell you about are going to be geared towards what works in people who have low porosity hair. So you say, well, what is low porosity hair? Um, low porosity hair typically is hair that does have a hard time retaining moisture, um, oils, water. A lot of times with low porosity hair, if you wet your hair, a lot of times the water will roll off the hair first before it even sinks into the actual strands of the hair. I have that problem. Um, it takes a lot uh, to for water to sink down into my hair uh, follicles and stuff and, and actually get in. It, I have a hard time retaining moisture and I have a hard time obtaining oils. I did a wash and go uh, video not too long ago and you guys should go back and check out my wash and go, but I talk about my hair, my the type of hair I have and how my hair has low porosity and the things that I have to do when I do my wash and goes because my hair will only hold moisture for so many days and then I will have to re-wet it or re-oil it or I have to do something and then it's dry. It stays dry. That's my biggest problem. It stays dry. Today I'm going to talk about some of the products that I like to use. This is very hard for me. <laughs> This is very hard for me, guys, because I have so many products and I was like, Kendra, you need to pick the ones that you really, really like. So just know that the products that I'm going to talk about are the products that I really, really like. And these are the ones that I know for a fact. I know I have used it time and time and time and time again. And I know that these products will work in my hair. What I have seen, most of the products that are made from African-American women um, tend to weigh my hair down. It tends to take away the, the bounce and 
to give in my hair and it weighs it down. So I had to find something that's kind of like in the middle. So the products that I'm going to talk to you about today are products that I have seen that will give me the moisture, will give me the, the um, hydrate the hair, put the, the oil in the hair, keep the oil in my hair for an extended period of time. And um, it gives me the look without weighing down my hair, keeps my hair bouncy, the whole nine. So those are the products that I'm going to talk about today. Okay, guys. So without further ado, let's get All right. So first, I'm going to start out with um, shampoos. Um, the first shampoo, I'm, I'm going to tell you, tell you guys now, first off, rip. I'm a diva girl. I love diva curls. I, I didn't mean to say I'm a diva girl. <laughs> I meant to say that I am a diva curl girl. I like just about 90% of the products that diva curl has on their line. And I say that, I don't know, I, I, I just feel like most of their products work very, very well in my hair. My hair just responds very well to their products. The only problem is Diva Curl is expensive. Uh, this is the Diva Curl Low Pool Original. This is $46. And I have to buy it in the big pump because I use so much. I wash my hair once a week. But this right here, I love this stuff. This is what I used in my um, wash and go that I recently put up um, in that video. Um, I used the, this, this, this is the shampoo that I use. I love this shampoo mainly because it does not strip my hair. If you are used to using shampoos with sulfates in it, if you, 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 I'm sure if you guys know anything about sulfates, sulfates will strip your hair. So I try to buy products that are paraben free and sulfate free. Um, I've gotten away from using sulfate products because I already have dry hair. So I don't need to put products in my hair that's gonna strip it even more. It's gonna take more of the oils out of it. I don't need products like that. With this shampoo, I can wash my hair. It doesn't strip my hair down. It does not pull or it, it cleans it very well. When I tell you my hair feels so clean, it feels so clean. The scalp feels so clean. I can easily comb through it with a wide tooth comb. I don't have to uh, go behind it with a detangler. And I, you know, for a lot of years, that's the reason why I didn't even go natural because I was like, oh, I ain't got time to be sitting around detangling my hair all day trying to wash my hair. Oh, no. And so that's why I say when you go natural, it's all about finding the products that work for you in your in your type of hair. So Diva Curl uh, Low Pool Original, this is the one I really like for my wash and goes. Another shampoo that I feel is good is the Moroccan Oil Shampoo. This one is color safe and it is um, paraben and sulfate free. This is a very good, um, that it comes in a two. This is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. You can get both of these. It comes in a, a two pack uh, like this. You can buy it on uh, Walmart's website. I cannot remember the price, guys. I wanna say I paid roughly maybe around $25 for the set together. If you buy them separately, of course, they are gonna be a little bit more um, expensive, but I thought for the for the value together, I thought it was a good deal. Um, if you see some other, I have a lot of hair. <laughs> My hair is very long. And when I uh, allowed the perm to grow out, it's really when my hair took off and it started growing. So if you're trying to grow out your hair and you have a perm, think about letting the perm grow out, guys, because when you take those chemicals out of the deal, your hair will respond and it will start to grow. I mean, my hair start to grow like nobody's business. It's never been that long. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's never been the length that it is now. Um, and I think I did a recent blowout uh, on I did the blue look. Go back and look at that video. My hair is down in that video. I, I uh, blew out my hair and I curled it. And, and my hair, and I'm I, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, my hair has never been that long in my life. My hair, when I was permanent, it would grow to about right. I would probably say it would grow. Normally, I kept it right here. I, I kept it right at this length. But it would grow. The longest it would grow, it came down to about right here right here and then it would break off and i would see it just falling on the floor just keep breaking off keep breaking off it's always been long i'm i'm gonna say this my hair has always been long however like i said it would not grow no no further past about right here and then 
I would have to cut it off because the ends would be so bad and break off. But now my hair, when I blow my hair out, it's literally midway down my back now. And I'm like, I never thought my hair would grow that long. I was like, oh my God, my hair is growing so long. And that's cause I don't have those chemicals in it anymore. So if you wanna grow your hair out, think about Think about going natural, and I, but I'm assuming if you're watching this pro, this video, then you are either natural or you're thinking about going natural. So um, those two are the top two shampoos that I pretty much use when I wash my hair. I don't use any other shampoos because I just haven't seen the benefit of it and I haven't seen the results that I want to see in my hair. So that's, that's it for shampoos. Moving on to deep conditioners. Um, I typically do a deep conditioner normally once every two weeks. I don't do a deep conditioner every week. I used to do a deep conditioner every week when I had color in my hair, but I don't have color in my hair anymore. I let the color grow out again because my hair cannot tolerate chemicals. It cannot tolerate color. I wish I could take a color. I really do because I like color. I mean, who don't like color? You know, everybody want to love color. You know, but um, my hair just can't tolerate it. It'll fall out, break off. But um, if you have color in your hair, this product right here, you need this. Guys, you need this stuff. This stuff is so good for adding protein in your hair and protecting your hair when you have color. Color is so hard on the hair follicles and it will uh, break it off if you're not deep conditioning at least once a week. So you do need to use a deep conditioner at least once a week if you have color in your hair. This one is by Jericho. This is the K-Pack Color Therapy um, Deep Conditioner. Looks like that, guys. I, and I've gone through two of these because when I, uh, especially if you streak your hair, if you're pulling the, the, if you're doing that bleach streak where it's streaking the hair, guys, please. Please, 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 please use this. Use some type of deep conditioner. I can't tell you how many times I see people color their hair, but they don't take care of it. If you're gonna color your hair, you have to take care of it. You have to, or it's gonna fall on the floor. It's gonna fall out. It's gonna get dry, hard, and brittle, and it's gonna fall out because, you, you know, you, it just doesn't have enough protein. So you're gonna have to give it, give it some protein because the color is taking it. So you want to use something like this. Another good deep conditioner you can use is this one right here. I love this stuff, guys. This is the Macadamia Natural All Deep Repair Mask. Love, love, love. I love this stuff. It is so good. It has a good smell to it. Looks like that. It's just, it's, this is a good deep conditioner as well, whether you have color or no color. Now this one right here you can use if you don't have color in your hair, this is a good deep conditioner to use. Another deep conditioner to use is the Manuka Honey. Now this one right here is by Shea Moisture. This is probably one of the only products, aside from that Jamaican castor oil, this is the only other product by Shea Moisture that responds okay in my hair. I use this uh, probably once every two weeks and I also add some other stuff, some other herbs and stuff to, to my hair. And I'll talk to you guys about that in another video, but I, for the sake of the length of this video, I don't want to get off into that. But um, this one is a good conditioner as well. But one thing I wanna say about deep conditioning your hair, keep in mind that whenever you're doing a deep condition that day, when you're using heavy products like this, these products right here, these products can tend to weigh the hair down. They're, they're heavy products. So when you're using products like this, this is not the day to go do a blowout. No, ma'am, Pam, not the day, okay? Say that for another day. This, when you're using deep conditioners like this, this is more for, you know, you're gonna do a wash and go or you're gonna do a twist out or something like that. That's when you wanna use these conditioners. If you're gonna go with a blowout, okay, the best, one of the best products that I've seen for a blowout is this one right here. This conditioner is the tea tree oil. It's a tea tree special conditioner. Uh, it's by tea tree. That's who it's by, <laughs> tea tree. But I like this one. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like it a lot. Y'all hear me say that all the time, I like it a lot. 
This is really, really good for blowout. Leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes, take it off, and then I'll do my blowout. And I'll have that body and bounce and stuff that I, that I need. But that's the only time I use this conditioner. Other than that, when I do my deep conditioners, it's primarily these. Now, I will say for this conditioner right here, if you have color and you do a deep conditioner, this conditioner is okay if you want to do a blowout. It will not weigh you down. It will get, you'll still have the body and stuff that you need and you're able to do your blowout and, you know, if you blow out your hair a lot. I don't blow out my hair a lot, guys. I may do a blowout maybe once every four months. I may blow my hair out. And you'll see that as you continue to follow me on my channel. I don't blow my hair out much. And that's mainly because I don't want the heat. A lot of times when I do my blowouts, I like to do them in the winter months because in the winter months, uh, the curls will hold longer. I don't sweat as much in my scalp and it's just better for my hair. In the summer months, I go with the wash and goes um, and I leave it in this more natural state. Because when I blow it out in the summer months, like I just did this blowout, I think before I walked out the door, my hair was straight. It was like, it had failed. And unfortunately, that's one of the, it's a give and take process, guys. That's one of the downfalls when you go natural. You're not gonna hold curls like that anymore. It's just, you know, it's not gonna, it's not going to perform the way it did when you had perm. So, it is what it is, but for the trade-off, for me having um, healthy hair, not putting the chemicals in my body, you know, I say, you know what, I'm okay with that. So, one of my favorite uh, products to use for uh, my twist outs would be on the Camille Rose line. Now, Camille Rose has a whole line. I'm sure you guys have seen all her products if you haven't check out Camille Rose she's at Walmart she's at Target she's um, on Amazon I mean her product has grown uh, quite a bit but um, her line has been the best products for me for twist outs I have tried other stuff for twist outs just don't work I, I, I this is only but this is but this is the only thing that I really use by her. She has one conditioner that I used to use and I don't really use anymore because I thought it was eh, it was okay. But it wasn't something that I wanted to go back and purchase repurchase again. But whenever I'm doing my twist outs, um I love her stuff. This is the um Curl Love Moisture Milk. This one is the uh moisture butter, the curly curly eight moisture butter. And this one right here is the Aloe Whip Butter Gel. Um, they all, you know, they all have a, a good smell to them. Now, now um, if you're doing a wash and go, which is what I do all the time. So, guys, 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 you got to know your girl has tried multiple products for wash and go, okay? I've tried a bunch of products for wash and goes. So the ones that I have narrowed it down and got to the ones that work for me. For the leave-ins, it's gonna be uh, these two. This is the Curly Bell Thirsty Curl leave-in. Has a pretty smell. I love the smell of this stuff. And then the Natural All Avocado leave-in. I love this stuff. My hair loves this stuff. It res my hair responds well to it. The only issue, and you guys have heard me talk about this before, and natural all, if you are listening to me, work on the smell. The smell is not that great. I was trying to explain this smell to my mom, but I just couldn't explain it to her. But I, guys, I don't know how to explain it. It just has a harsh, it's just too loud. It's a loud smell and I don't like it. But when I put this, um, the curly bell, when I put it on top of it, it calms the smell down and it actually, it takes the smell away. But it's, it's a good product. I will not take anything away from this product. It is an excellent product. It's just they need to work on the smell. Now, once you get the leave-in in and you want to start styling the hair, Diva Curl has a styling cream that I absolutely love. I love the styling cream. My favorite is the Bee Leave-In. The Bee Leave-In works very well for defining your curls. If you want, to, you give, you, you want your curls to pop when you comb them out, guys, 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 this stuff is 
back. This stuff is the bomb. I will not lie to you. I love, love, love this stuff. This stuff is way better. And I, and this the other stuff that they have on that line, this is the, the Ultra Defining Gel. Um, no Crunch Styler. This is good too. Like if you want, like I used to do when I did my washing, I used to do those spiral curls where you would, you know, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, you spiral the curl out around your finger. It looks like, um, what they call them, coil, coil curls. I used to do that, the spiral coil curls. I used to do that. And um, I used to use this a lot for that. No crunchy, no crunchy feel on your curls, no flaking. This is good. But when I tell you this be leave-in, I like the be leave-in better than this. This is Sephora ran that sale, baby. I, th I think I picked up maybe about four bottles because this is about $20 a pop. Because I told you, Diva Curl is expensive, but I can't take anything away from the products. The, the price point is just really expensive. Now, uh, Q-Day has a uh, advanced climate control. This works good for decreasing um, frizz. I like it. It works very well for it. Um, I Normally what I do is I put this one on and then I'll put on the be leave in for my wash and goes and it makes my hair look so nice and it doesn't look dry and frizzy or none of that. So that, those products are good for that. This, this last thing I like for the hydrating step, now this one is by Camille Rose. This is a honey hydrating step one. Now, if you, honey is, has been known to be one of, I'm talking about real honey. Honey has been known to uh, provide moisture to the hair, open up the hair follicles and allow water to get into the hair follicles. Honey has been known to do that. Put that in my conditioner and mix it up and it does work guys. This item right here that she created, it, it's a hydrating uh, moisture leave-in. You can put it in and leave it in your hair with your wash and goes. It does work, it's very good. It actually, it smells like honey, so I can tell she did use honey for this, but um, you can, it smells just like honey and it looks like honey. Um, it has a thick texture to it, if you can see it pulling out, see it's thick, it rolls, see how it does, just like honey. But it's really good. It's it's good. Try it if you try this if you have really dry low porosity hair like mine. Try try it. And I'm not talking about my type of curls. I'm talking about low porosity because you can have low porosity and have different types of curl texture. But if you have dry hair, this is good for that. Now um, the last and final thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is, and you know what it is. Let me get the drum roll. Please, age control. Y'all know what time it is. I don't care how cute you think your hair is. You better, you better get them edges. You know what? You know you gotta edge control them edges. I don't know nobody that don't have to put some edge control on. <laughs> now the, the the best edge control that I've used for my wash when I do my wash and goes, I go with the Eco Styler gel for the the size. When I first do wash, wash and go, but after a couple of days, I, I really don't use the Eco Styler as much. I do use it sometimes, but not a whole lot. This one right here, this edge, this is by uh, Total Trans Hicks. Hicks Total Transformation Edges. Uh, this stuff right here is really, really good for, it looks like that. But it doesn't come out. Now, I've, this stuff, I've seen people with 4A, 4C have used this stuff. It is very, very good. It's thick. It's got a thick, somewhat of a thick consistency to it. It's kind of thick. But when I tell you, it's, you know, when you, when you use it and you put it on your hair, it lays, it lays it down. It lays, it lays your edges down. Real good for styling like See them little hair sticking up right there? It lays, it lays it down very, very well. Y'all should try this. It's by Hicks. It's, it's real good. Now, it's a little on the pricey side. I think it's, it retails for maybe about 10, I wanna say 10 or $11 for four ounces. So a good substitute, if you cannot afford this, if this is just out of your budget and way too expensive, it does work, but if it's out of your budget, this is, I found, is a good substitute. This is Edge Wax, Murphy's Edge, Edge Wax. Looks very similar, but the only thing, Murphy's Edge Wax is, is much thicker than Hicks. 
Hicks is, they both, it's thick, but Hicks, Hicks is a little, is a little wetter. Murphy's is, it puts me more in the mind of like beeswax, if that makes any sense to you. It's, it's more like beeswax, but I can show you like when I go into Murphy's, Murphy's is, is not expensive. You can get this at Walmart for about $4.99. This is a good substitute. Like when I, before I, you know, like if I want to preserve my hips, I'll use this. But like it looks like that. It's really, and let's see, when you lay it on, it lays the edges down real nice too. It's real good for laying down the edges. Okay. It lays it down very nice. But those are my uh, favorite um, gels for edge control. Okay. And I do think that Hicks and Murphy's will work well on uh, for a 4C hair. And oh, 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 y'all, I forgot. This last one, this is, oh, oh I cannot forget. Ozzy. Deep conditioner on the low end, on the low end. Ozzy, y'all, the three minute leave-in conditioner. Oh my God. This is good stuff, y'all. I don't use it as a 30-minute leave-in. I use this more like as a 10-minute um, leave-in conditioner, but it's a deep conditioner. This stuff is good, y'all. So don't forget, don't forget. I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot about Ozzy. Don't forget to try Ozzy's um, leave-in conditioner. It is very, 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 very good. I bought it by the case low. I went to Amazon and found it. I found the pump, because Walmart don't sell it like this. I found this on Amazon and they sold it with the pump like this. Child, I bought probably two, three boxes. I'm not lying. This is so good. Like two, three boxes where one, where it's about nine in a box. I ain't playing. I don't plan on running out no time soon, child. Anytime I get something I really like it, I rack up on it. Guys, this wraps up my video on my favorite hair care products. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys. And uh, do, don't forget, tell me some things in the comment section on what you do for your natural hair. I really want to know some things that you can suggest, ideas, and things of that nature. Say, I'm, I'm saying bye to everybody. You want to say bye? Zach's mad at me, y'all, because I didn't put him on earlier in the video. He's mad. You want to say bye to everybody? Come up and say bye. Zach's, Zach's mad. He's mad because I didn't I didn't put him in. He wanted me to pick him up early and put him in the video. So now he wants to he's, he's happy now that he's in the video. Alright guys. Until the next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>